let's start today's episode with a quick mood check how are you feeling today with respect to your portfolio my mood i would rate here for the simple reason mrpl was up 11% today i still need two more similar days to break even or make some money in this stock this is the level to which it has been beaten hi everyone welcome to the update of 5th november and in today's nugget section we'll talk about the results of titan the websites will beat down the result but i loved the results considering the scenario in which titan has been operating this quarter and i think the stock is screaming buy right now and i'll talk about why in the nugget section this is how nifty was feeling yesterday the reds totally vanished it is actually literally a reverse of yesterday and today's rally was led from front by banks axis hdfc indus kotak icici you name it and the banks were all up in fact till 12:30 it looked like a repeat of something like a yesterday all gloomy all dark suddenly came an injection and we'll talk more about it when we go to the charts this was probably a mix of us elections related short covering and also prep up for the next two weekly expiries coming up in the next two days there were perhaps too many shorts that needed to be covered what was up today most hdfc took nifty up most followed by sbi icici jsw steel and axis bank four of the five stocks are the top banks what was pulling down airtel as usual itc coal india adani ports and infosys there are only two greens left hdfc and icher motors and there is only one red left indusind next 50 not as good as nifty 50 however lot better than yesterday so what was driving nifty next 50 up adani energy adani power jindal steel and power cholamandalam investment and icici lombard what was pulling down nhpc abb macrotech zydas and dv laboratories not a single green in nifty 50 and two reds don't worry this is yesterday's dashboard this is banking for yesterday and i'll contrast it with the new dashboard today opposite of yesterday a very thin tail four of the five large sectors were in the green banking was taking nifty up metals was up auto was up software was the only one undecided most it companies are looking nervously at who the president will be they are mostly scared of donald trump coming back to power again this graph is not looking any prettier though it was a fantastic day that is because it has to recover from nearly 15 20 days of fall coming back to bank nifty today i refactored this dashboard this is bank nifty as per the constituent of the index all green looking good only idfc had low volumes top four stocks as well as the index they are in the green zone which means less than 10% up and they will be at 52 week highs now i'll tell you one very comical element we all have heard the stories that psu banks are not doing well this quarter only iob is red look at the red trail in private banks it is the private banks which are having the problem not the public banks and today i have added most of the popular private banks to this list look at the undervaluation or the cuts the top 3 private banks are however in the green zone so that is where the trust of the public is in terms of stock prices see these graphs 1245 nothing nifty heading downwards then came the injection bank nifty reliance in fact reliance was up then came down then went up nearly traverse 3% hdfc bank sbi even lnt ntpc bajaj finance all of them joined the party now look at the amount of green in nifty these are the top 15 stocks the heavyweights are looking good see bank nifty all the top stocks are looking good and there was no exception today even the red stock like indusind they were up today i have defined a new section called banking and finance which has private sector banks public sector banks investing and today also i separated microfinance and small finance from nbfcs ujjivan small finance has lost so much value that its dividend yield has actually become 4% c of green when it comes to the public sector banks only iob is in red k 
Canara Bank's dividend yield is around 3%. Now, while the day was fantastic, the sector which has been doing really well this entire last month, that was not up so much. JM Financials was up 4%. BSE was up 4% because that is going to get included in MSCI index. So another reason to cheer though it is already in the green zone. Motyal Oswal continued to correct 1.2% down. Look at the greens in this pack. This is how much value that has been created for investors by this sector in the last couple of months. This is a brand new dashboard, all NBFCs, the major ones. This pack has suffered a lot. Muthood Finance is the only one in green. Now note that this sector, despite the huge falls, is still far off from their 52 week lows. Microfinance, small finance, this is technically NBFC business, but I've just carved out a separate dashboard for this. So usually these are small cap kind of companies. Literally the entire sector is red. Can't even see green color here because most of them are at 52 week lows. When Zomato increased their platform fee just before Diwali, I mentioned that markets will not like it. Look at the value erosion in Zomato stock since then. See the fall from the peak? That's a 20% cut. Infosys continues to bleed. If FIs are selling, then Infosys will be on the list. IT is looking jittery ahead of the US elections. Ola Electric, which is not able to solve either its problems or the customer's problems, that was down 8% today. This company may not see 2026 the way they are performing right now. The stock next to it, Aichar Motors, that was in green. Now I have added Hyundai also today. This is appearing in red because there is not enough data. So literally appears like 1828 is the lifetime low or a 52 week low. All the top stocks in this sector were doing phenomenally well today. Overall, the sector was up 1%. The big boy Bajaj Auto, that was up 3.7%. Musgaon Dogs results were good, the stock was up 4.2%, the volumes were good, only Zen Technologies is green. Good data emerging from China, also the short covering rally was overdue. This sector has a lot of greens. Nalco I mentioned yesterday also is looking good, that hit another high. At the end of the day, Reliance was up only 0.8%, though there was a huge euphoria. But overall, oil and gas did really well today. Oil was up 5%, ONGC up, oil marketing companies, they picked up their heads. But all this happened after 12.45 only. Till that time, everyone was sulking. Only MRPL was looking good. Let me show you the volumes of MRPL. These are average volumes. Look at this cluster of shopping that happened in MRPL today. Also, just a reminder, MRPL's 52-week high is 290. It is at 163 after today's rally. This list has become very big, the power pack. I'll have to redo it. But look at Vari Energy hit another high today, up 16%. Premier Energy, that was up 8.6%. Green zone here, NTPC in green zone. This was Vari going up, hitting a lifetime high here. This is Premier going up. Both of them had fantastic volumes. In today's good market also, Varun Beverages was down 1.2%. Nestle Dabur continue to be in red. ITC is green. Radico Khetan, Associated Alcohol, both are in green. Adani Wilmer was up 3.3% today. Non-edible consumption, Gillette continues to rock, hit another high today. Titan is in red zone, Asian Paints is in red zone, Demart is in red zone. Yesterday was all red, today was all green. Yes, of course, there is one red. FIA is sold today also, 2500 crores. DIA bought more than them because they've got fresh supply. This month's SIPs are in. The other sectors, Energy, Next 50, Auto, they were also up a lot. Nifty IT actually did not go anywhere. I forgot to cover this yesterday. This is the dip in foreign exchanges that I was talking about in the nugget section yesterday. We always hear record highs. No one talks about the dips. I also had this news yesterday, but I forgot to read it. IPO bound NSC post 57% rise in Q2 net profit. This stock will soon be added to the investing pack. Just as a disclaimer, I own NSC in pre-IPOs. And we'll talk about Titan's results in the nugget section. The net profit declined 25% to 705 crore. This is year on year. Also, in general, net profit growth of 3.6% in Q2 financial year 25 is India's lowest since June 2020. 
Now, gold came back strongly today, nearly 80,000. Silver was above 95,000 today. Bitcoin still hovering around 69,000. Rupee and Brent are where we left yesterday. Brent is actually above 75 today. US markets yesterday had a bit of profit booking, but the trends are suddenly becoming red. Apple down four days, Tesla down six days. Now, if Trump, who is supported by Elon Musk, wins the election, then this stock may go up a lot. I did nothing today in terms of trades, no buy, no sell. There is a simple rationale, markets are too volatile and right now retail is being pushed either to buy or sell and I don't want to do any compulsive buying selling under pressure because market is driving me to that decision. I did want to buy BSE today but I had no money left and I didn't want to sell anything that I have bought recently at further losses because all of them are good buys with respect to the period that is coming up in my opinion. I will probably skip buying for some time unless the markets crack a lot. But if select stocks are up, then I will not hesitate in booking profits. Time to talk about Titan's results. The market analysts don't seem to like it, but I love the results. My favorite section first, the shareholding patterns. Promoters don't buy or sell anything in this. Tata Sons hold the company. FIIs had reduced their stake last time. A slight uptick this time. DIs reduced their stake. Then last quarter they increased. This time they have increased to 11.3%. Who is selling? Public. That is when the stock is looking good in terms of value for money. When was public buying? When the stock was going up. Look at the reduction in shareholders. This is retail which no longer owns Titan. Bad share. Quarter's results. September quarter sales. 14,530 crore. This is higher than Q and Q. This is also way higher than September 2023. This is on top of reduced gold prices, which means the prices of gold jewelry would have reduced to reflect market prices of gold to a large extent. So phenomenal number in terms of sales for Titan. Expenses were higher. Of course, when you sell more, the expenses would be higher. Now we can argue that gold prices were low, so expenses should be lower. Note that September sales, the gold was already procured. You can't do just-in-time procurement. The gold has to be bought from outside India and imported using ships and containers. It will land in Mumbai and then it will be shipped to various workshops of Titan across the country. But the jewelry would have sold at a reduced price. As a result, the profit before tax that tanked. This is what analysts say is not good. What did Titan do wrong here? The duty cut was done by government. Despite all that, they did fantastic in sales. This is a one quarter aberration. Will Titan absorb this? No. It will charge 1% extra for the next one year. It will recover all the money from you and me only to make up for this reduction in profit. In fact, they are now heading towards the best quarter. Look, last year what happened? 12,500 became 14,000. They are already at 14,500. This should become 16, 17,000 by the time of next results. See here, September to December, 7,500 became 10,000. 9,100 became 11,600. This time there will be no impact of high gold prices. Who will mint money? If you look at the EPS, 10.3 becoming 8, that's not a big deal. Yes, this is a low number, no doubt. But we know the reason for this aberration. This is a one-time aberration. I would have been worried if the sales had dipped. Look at the value destruction Titan has suffered since the time the duty was cut. Titan was peaking somewhere around here. From this level, Titan did reach a level in July which was low. It is at the same level. From July till September and or October beginning, look at the rise of Titan, 3100 to 3800. It has given up all the gains. Can't it rise the same number in two more months now? I continue to hold Titan. I haven't sold it while I've sold the banks, HDFC and ICICI from my holding, which I do intend to buy back soon. I've sold HUL, but I have not reduced on Titan at all. In fact, if this price crashes tomorrow, I will find some ways to buy more of it tomorrow perhaps. Hope this analysis was useful and it will help you with your buy or sell decisions with Titan. Thanks for watching. I will see you tomorrow.